Australia, Jabba here. Welcome again to the Great Barbecue Challenge where we're on the final leg of our journey to uncover Australia's king or queen of the hot plate. Greetings fellow travellers and welcome to the second road to a challenge. Now, a couple of weeks back, Star Wars fanatic Mick taught us a thing or two about sci-fi costuming. And I thought to myself, there's a few hours to kill as we cross Bass Strait. So I'm gonna get out in the gear, meet and greet a few passengers as we trek to Tassie. Well, it's not Star Trek, is it? So it's more like, use the force, Luke. <laughs> My curious world. But we begin with the Housos, tenants in Housing Commission accommodation. They've been the butt of plenty of jokes, but now they're being targeted by an edgy new TV show. The characters are a bit, well, rough. I don't know. I can't even see a pub. What the f is your woman doing in a wheelbarrow? Outside. There's adventure waiting out there just for you. Take the road on your adventure waiting just for you. Curiosity, it's something that we're all born with. Hello. I think curiosity is what makes us tick. It's what makes us ask those questions. What is that? What were you seeing? Flying saucers. And what'd they look like? Flying saucers. <laughs> How did that get there? So you're saying this is where it's travelled across a time dimension? That seems to be the only way. And what just happened? Without those questions, and without that built-in curiosity we all share, there wouldn't be any answers. That would leave us totally in the dark. I'm out to play. Oh, I'm going to shed some light on some truly unique curiosities. The convicts didn't have access to a golf buggy. Some of the most interesting stories you've never heard before. It's all part of Nat Geo's Curiosities Week. I'll be diving into some pretty unique stuff. Everything from doomsday cults, flying saucers, and a date with the paranormal. And I'll be giving you a sneak peek of some of the documentaries we'll be featuring in Curiosity Week, here on the National Geographic Channel. Isn't this evidence? With thousands of songs in our collection, it's not easy to pick just 20. But here at Max, we've done it. We've tracked through the archives to bring you the Max Essential 20, like 20 essential party songs. Thursday nights, I'll bring you the stories behind each Essential 20, with a different theme each week. Max Essential 20, essentially the best music ever. 8.30 Thursdays on Max. Fat piece of pizzas, they're big and they're cheesy. See the dog out there? Yeah, what happened was, because you're probably thinking, how do I get the dog here? Well, I was at the cop shop, was I had to re-register for my AVO, because my third ex de facto, she ended the relationship, had to put another AVO out on me, because <laughs> I was still pretty keen. So while I'm up there filling in the paperwork, I look over the counter, I see this little dog there, I wait until all the cops were distracted, looking at other staff, and I grabbed the plastic bag, I went around the counter, and I put the dog in the plastic bag, and I brought him back here, I've got my own dog now! His name's Spoofy! Spoofy! Spoofy, yeah! And the best part is, he's like a sniffer dog, you know? This has actually come out of the, oh, you can hear the gasping in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> this should, shouldn't have come out of the box, but the ABC policy, I've had to bring it out of the box. It's a Stormtrooper. Uh, it's actually 11 and a half, I'll take a 12. Doesn't fit me, but uh, oh. I bought it anyway. Massive Star Wars fan. All right, Mick, this one's for you, brother. Darth Vader sucks. So does your mum. Shut up, you face. Joe Dolce in at number five on our essential list of the top one hit wonders of all time ever in infinity. Sometimes you can't really figure out the human race. Shut up your face was number one in 11 countries and there are over 50 different foreign language cover versions. Go on, sing a line from the chorus. I know you know it. And guess what? It's not the only comedy single in the top five. What's the matter you? Hey. Jeb is wearing a glove to answer the questions. <laughs> I like it. He's taking it seriously. He's taking it seriously. Okay. One point, Jabba. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Magnificent. Okay, look, I will freely admit that I did steal. What was his name? Spoofy. Sniffy. Ah! Sniffy. Yes, officer, I'm sorry, Sniffy. Um, I was going to use Spitty. To Sniffy. <laughs> Sniffy. To help find all the illegal drugs and then hand them in. And then we could take all the dealers off the streets and save all the young children and help you in your fight against crime. Stop bullshitting, will you? And tell us why you cut up our Sniffer dog. Can I talk to the good cop now, please? Where's the gift shop at, brother? Just over here, mate. 
Just over here. All right. I promise Princess Leia I'll buy something. Batteries for my lightsaber. Heavily reduced. Yep, they're cute. They'll do for some of the Ewoks. Australia. That'd be Baz Luhrmann's new film. Better get one of those before the movie comes out. Baz Luhrmann, thanks so much for uh, appearing here on the MySpace Road Tour. Where's your condoms, love? Up here. Up here, alright, over the counter stuff. What's the truth? Okay, we've met a bunch of freaks. Uh, they're competing to be uh, the most extraordinary MySpace user in Australia. We've got a drag queen uh, speedway racer comedian yeah, who's in his wait, car. Wait, wait, wait. Where do I fit in? Uh, you're, um... Uh... I can drive a car very fast. Okay, that's good. One. Yeah, can you design clothes? Well, your missus can, so that's... Okay, that's two. I, I help, sometimes. <laughs> Is this the pole dancing, right? <laughs> Here's the interesting thing. Has the journey changed you? What has the journey in finding these people done for you? Got some good frequent flyer points out of it. I knew he'd just have a, yeah. a one-liner like that. I've gone to bronze now, so yeah. in your face, Baz Luhrmann. They've given me a job here at the, the comedy store, so thank you for that. I appreciate that. That's um, not thank you to you guys, because uh, you're not doing me any favours tonight, but that's okay. <laughs> I'd like to do you a favour, and that's give out some great prizes. Uh, and that's... Well, you haven't heard what the prize is yet, so... That's premature. Um, and generally, when you're premature, one thing leads to another, so it's probably not an isolated incident of... prematureness, so... If you have a lady friend, be warned. Alright, I'm desperate! Come on, give me all your money now! Hand it over! Let's go! The story of the outlaw is my personal favourite. I'm talking about the great Aussie tradition of the bushranger. Those pre-Federation gangsters that lived outside the law. I am the Knight Rider! And I will be back! Take some M&Ms too! Good on you mate! Two opponents squared off in that old-fashioned and frankly ridiculous of endeavours. Dueling pistols at dawn. Hey! Put the gun down! This is not a real gun! No! Look! Get that brick up! It's a toy! It's plastic! It's fun! Hey, Davo! Let's start with the facts. This is what we do know. In the middle of the night, in a remote area of Western Australia, something weird happened. We looked up at the rock, we got inspired, we went towards the gate, we were gonna go in, and then look what happened, mate. Look what happened. Yeah, no, it's like the world record attempt, and they've just been around everywhere. And we're gonna go up the top of the rock and deliver it, so we're just gonna film in there. Have a film and photography permit. Uh, yep. Um, oh, I've, I've, I think I just dropped it. Mmm, pizza! Payment, what kind of crust would you like for your pizza? Hey! Okay, done. Oh, they're ringing the police now. Hey, bro! They're not gonna let us film in there. Worst cop? Yes, you see, I'm the bad cop, but Leanne, the lesbian sergeant, she hates men. She's the worst cop. <laughs> she looks like my mum. Oh. Oh. Stop it, I'm not gonna be I got Shazza on the outside getting my bail money, all right? Good morning, hey man. Hello. 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 So lovely to see you on this beautiful morning, dirt girl. The sun shining on the golden corn. You look like a hell's and you smell like one too. Are there any questions not about sport? <laughs> <laughs> not the same without you, Mick. Love you, brother. It's the best <laughs> birthday ever! <laughs> what do you reckon? Did we get it right? Send us some feedback. No one's going to read it, but send it anyway. We'll see you next time on the Max Essential 20. Someone probably will read it. Just not me. I think psh, I'll be back hosting. Uh, trophy Room Season 2. Sorry, Pete. Thanks. I hope you found this journey as curious as I have. I'll leave you with some moments that didn't go according to plan. Like this one. Oh, it's complete. Ooh, that thing is... Thunderbolt was born Frederick Warren. He's one of the most bad guys. Now, Steph, smartly, has declined the opportunity to be Mary Ann Bug. We're hoping to rope her into it. In fact, we've bought her size dress. 
because on this very spot, but after a doomsday cold on a shoop station, a shoop station, shoop, shoop, did it, what come? Wait, Phil. Bob, 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 Bob. Reverend Robert Evans, Bob. Cull the newspaper, Brr. And our other cameraman's a Kiwi, so they're nervous. Strapless is in this spring. Backless too. Curiosity, it's something we're all born with. Just like a tongue, unless you're born with a cleft palate. Party Mickey Muska. Back in the day, there weren't, uh, weren't so many Japanese tourists. This is this lady for what's his face? Ow! Come on. It's what makes us ask those questions. What is that? How did that get there? Who the f are you and how did you get my number? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Cotton Eye Joe. Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> That's a take. Just, just the good camera is rolling. Just the only camera we'll use. This pretzels are making me thirsty. We're using my 10 year old son uh, as the audio man here. See how good a sound man is? He doesn't speak <laughs> and he's affordable. Can you cook? <laughs> You'll realize what in the matter. <laughs> Curious, isn't it? It is curious. <laughs> Easy fella.